Hi, I'm Blair Gilbert here from MrHardware.com and Gilbert's Pro Hardware in St. Clair Shores here to show you the easy way to bend kink-free PVC for all kinds of projects. When bending PVC, I'm going to make another rack like this. So I want to bend PVC in a radius like this, which happens to be the radius of a paint can. So I'm going to take the PVC, I'm going to heat it up, I'm going to bend it around this can. But oftentimes when I do that, it will kink in the middle, it would bend up. The trick to kinking, or making it kink free, is put a piece of material in here so when you bend it, I can put a screw in this plywood to push down on the PVC so when it bends, it won't be able to kink. I'll get a perfect bend every time. I marked the PVC a little bit long of both the points of my bend and I've got a high powered heat gun. This is not no hair dryer. This is uh, the bad boy of heat guns. The better it is, the faster it bends. Here we go. I'm rotating this pipe just a little bit and every bend it takes a while for the heat to evenly melt the PVC so that I get a nice even bend. Important thing here is to not stay in one spot too long so that the whole pipe gets very evenly heated. There it goes. There it is, two minutes. Now as I bend it, here comes the kink. See it's getting it's getting fat over here, it's starting to kink on me. So as I come around, I put this piece of PV plywood on top, and I'm gonna take my drill and a spacer, and I'm gonna screw. Is bored down. Too tight. We don't want it too tight because we can actually crush the PVC. So we want the plywood attached just enough so it holding it to keep our shape and not crush it. So we'll give it a second to harden up here. A lot of times if I'm in a hurry, I'll take some water and a rag and wipe it in there and that will take and cause the pipe to harden instantly and I won't have to wait a minute or two for this to cool. Part of the success of bending PVC is setting up a jig. So every time you bend something, you can bend it the same way. You can see here, I have a piece of pipe inside the PVC, just a piece of metal that happened to fit, that if I did this numerous times, I'd be able to keep this continuous all the time. I'd have the same bend. The other trick is, when I screwed down this plywood to hold this in place, I had that spacer here. So the plywood didn't canter. So when I screwed it down, the spacer is the same thickness as the pipe. Now here's the proof of the pudding. There's the bend. Beautiful. Strong. That's why I don't, when I was making the boat ramp for the dog, the bending of the PVC is much stronger than putting a 90 in there. So you can do numerous things with this. We'll go show you a couple. He didn't bend this. You can see there is a little kink in this piece but it's a push bar for my screen door. So, see, just like this, for more strength, I heat and bend inch and a quarter PVC. And again, to prevent compromising the PVC, I cut my fittings to go around the pipe. So my 
rib can be one piece which makes it much stronger than if I cut it and installed the tee.